reaction is two zinc sulfides plus three O two goes to two zinc oxide plus two uh, sulfur dioxide. And you need to know the state, so it's solid, gas, solid, gas. Okay? Because it's different, the delta H of formations are different depending on its state. So what you would just do is you look up the delta H of formation values in the back, and the one they want to know is zinc sulfide. So uh, this is question mark. That's the one you want to know, okay? Um, they give you the overall delta H of the, uh, the, the whole thing, they have to do that. So delta H standard for the whole thing is minus 878.2. Okay. So... Uh, your book did it a particular way. This could actually be done a few different ways as far as dividing or multiplying by things. Uh, here's what I do. First, find these numbers. Let's do the easy one. This one? Zero. Zero. Yeah, that one you don't even have to look up. Uh, the other ones you would have to look up. So let me see if they have them here. Uh, the zinc oxide minus 348.3. Are these like an appendix D or something? Uh-huh, this is an appendix. If you are taking an exam, they'd either be in the question or on the back page. And why is um, oxygen's... Z why is oxygen zero? Yeah. Uh, anything that's in its elemental form, okay. if it was born that way, it's going to be zero. The delta H of formation basically lists from its elemental form, which it already is, how much energy do you take to form it? Well, zero, because that's where it starts. Gotcha. Okay, so SO2, we also need that one. So if you look this up, it should be minus 296.8. Okay, we should have everything to be able to solve this now. So this is how I'm going to do it. You booked it, again, a slightly different way. Uh, the delta H overall for the whole reaction is equal to the products minus the reactants. So 2 times the delta H of formation of the zinc oxide plus 2 times the delta H of formation of the sulfur dioxide. There is the reactants minus the products. So I'll open the brackets for the products. Minus the sum of the products. So 2 times the delta H a formation of the zinc sulfide plus 3 times the delta H a formation of the O2. Okay, so sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. Notice how I put the coefficients in here. So let's just see what we got. Delta H, uh, delta H overall, right here. Check. Delta H of formation of zinc oxide, right here. Okay. Delta H of formation of the sulfur dioxide, right there. Delta H of the formation of the zinc sulfide, that's what we want to know. So I'll just circle it. We want this. Solve for that. Okay, delta H of formation of the O2, that one's going to be zero. Right here, zero. There we go, we solve for our unknown. Uh, according to the text here, the answer is, let me see if I can find it, minus 206. Minus 206. Okay? So I don't need to divide the whole thing by 2. Okay. Your book did it a different way. That's fine too, they can do it that way. They just wanted to get rid of these coefficients, so they divided through by 2. They switched the equation to make it easier to solve for. If you want to do that, you can. I don't know why you would. 
I just would do it this way. So, but that way's fine if it makes sense to you.